Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another Iron Man Progress video. This is episode number 84. To kickstart the episode, I'd like to try out the new Darkmire content, which is coming with the Sins of the Father quest. Um, it's not, not quite here yet, but uh, in a couple of days at time of recording. Uh, before I do, I want to get 92 agility, as that will allow me to access the best floor in the Hallowed Sepulchre. And uh, yeah, going to see what the XP rates are like, see what the content's like. You can get the black graceful recolor there, so I will probably go for that at some point, maybe not all at once. And uh, yeah, other than that, I do also have an armadillo task, so we'll be heading back to God Wars to see if I can pick up the armadillo helm. Hope you guys enjoy the episode. Picked up an elite clue, what can we get? Oh my god, that is literally shocking. Ah, 81k, 123 elite clues done. Got 92 agility coming in, which is halfway to 99, and also ready for the Hallowed Sepulchre when that releases. Another drop at Zora, it is a Magic Fang. I've had quite a lot of these. I think this might be my seventh in total, can't quite remember. Um, I did mention it in the last episode, but I'm not dismantling these because I like to keep them stacked up in the bank. Um, so yeah, just going to keep coming back to Zora for scales. And that is the end of the task, finishing up on 854kc. Well, that didn't take too long at all. Another Aviancy task. We'll need to catch some black chins and then we will head straight there. And if I'm not mistaken, that should be the end of the quest. It is. Sins of the Father completed. So I now have access to Darkmire and this experienced tome, which I will be using on runecrafting. And that will give me 45,000 XP overall, which is pretty nice. Uh, yeah, gonna head into the city, test the content, have a go at the new agility thing, kill some vampire sentinels. Um, but yeah, it was a good quest. I enjoyed it and looking forward to seeing what dark my holds for me. Uh, well, I was not expecting that. That is the new blood shard drop. I'm literally here just to get vampire dust for the hallowed sepulchre. That is really rare. I mean, it's utterly useless. I think they're probably going to buff it, so I'll hold on to it. But um, interesting. Yeah, I mean, the wiki's saying it's like a 1 in 5k drop. I don't think anyone can know at this stage just how rare it is. But um, that is kind of cool to see. Got some Sandview serums from uh, the Hallowed Sepulchre. I'm hoping they're not that rare because it'd be nice to stack some of these up. I don't really have too many left in the bank now. Hey, I just got my first strange old lockpick from the Hallowed Sepulchre, which is pretty cool. And um, what this does in the Barrow's Crypts, it means you can basically go through any door um, and you don't need to follow the path that unlocks um, uniquely for you around the uh, the crypt, which is pretty cool. Um, it's got 50 charges, um, so yeah, might test that out at some point. Oh wow, got another strange lockpick on the fourth floor this time. I actually think it's more common from the higher up floor, so it's interesting to see that down here. So I have stacked up just over 300 Hallowed Marks and I was looking at what item I was going to go for as my first upgrade and it's going to be the Hallowed Ring. This basically means that you don't get a time penalty when you fail an obstacle and you don't get hit from that obstacle so it negates the need for food. Next up I might go for one of the ones that costs 100, I don't, I don't really know yet. Time for another upgrade and this time I think I'm going to go for the Grapple. And then it will be the hammer and the focus. I don't know in which order, but then I will start saving up my tokens for the dark dies, I think. Oh, one second remaining. I did it. That is my first completion of floor five. This thing is so tough. It's the last puzzle. I think it's because... I think there's some sort of FPS lag or something because my ping to this world is not terrible. I mean, it's really good ping, but it just gets to the last puzzle and my uh, my client just um, really seems to struggle with it. There we go. That is cool. Okay, first completion. Need to get better at this now and uh, hopefully get a few more under my belt. Hey, we got another Barrow's lockpick. I guess these things aren't too rare. That is my third one. And that is another lockpick. I think that is number four now. First level coming in at the Sepulchre and it is eight, uh, no, 93, 93 agility. There we go. I've changed up my method slightly and I'm going for completions rather than marks at the moment. So yeah, I've done floor five 38 times and I've managed to loot the coffin 15 times. Definitely getting better at it. And I think focusing on that is probably the best thing to do at the moment. 
and as my floor times um, get better then I can just add an extra loot I guess onto the uh, end of my runs but yeah it's going well and that is another lockpick I think I'm gonna stop recording these now because um, yeah the shine has worn off slightly they're not really that rare hey I just got my first ever onyx at Zora um, that's pretty cool I don't really know what I would turn this into but that is cool to see the last upgrade that I'm going to be buying for the Hallowed Sepulchre for the time being is the hammer 100 marks and it will hopefully stop me wasting so many nails there are two more that I could potentially buy being the focus and the symbol uh, the symbol halves the amount of uh, vampire dust that you need to get through the obstacles but I don't actually use any of the obstacles um, that require the vampire dust so I don't really need to get that one and the focus um, reduces the fail rate on the enchant portals but I don't think I've ever actually failed it with the highest level spell so I think I'll hold off on getting that one as well and just uh, save up for the dies. Got 94 agility coming in here once I've entered the floor and I'm up to 1300 hallowed marks so yeah about 500 left to go until I can get the full dark graceful. Went to Barrows to quickly test out the lockpicks and got a duplicate flail, so enjoy this very random Barrows clip. So very conveniently, my last run of the Hallowed Sepulchre got me up to exactly 1,800 marks, which means I can buy six dark dyes and recolor all of my graceful, which is really cool. There we go. Now, I have to say, I was hoping that the Graceful would look slightly darker than this. I think Jagex has said they're willing to maybe take a look at <laughs> turning it into a slightly more black version of Graceful than uh, grey Graceful as it is at the moment. But that is really cool. I'm glad that I decided to go for that. In terms of going back to train here, I would like to get, or at least try to go for the Ring of Endurance at some point. Not at the moment, because I've done quite a lot of this uh, content since it's been released. Um, but now that I've basically bought all of the items that I need with the um, reward tokens, I guess the only other thing would maybe be going for the pet recolor, which is th uh, 5,000 marks, but I don't even have the pet, so there's no real need for that at the moment. And the other untradeable rewards that I didn't end up buying, I don't think there's any point going for them at this stage. So yeah, it would just be going back for XP training and going for the ring. I am quite curious to see what my XP per hour would be just rushing uh, to the bottom floor and only looting the last chest i think i could probably get like 85 to 90k xp an hour which would be really good so yeah i think i may come back here in the future but for now happy with what i have achieved at the hallowed sepulchre i picked up an armadillo task a few clips ago and um yeah to be honest got a bit distracted with the sepulchre but to round off the video i'm gonna go ahead and go to god wars and finish up this aviancy task still looking for the armadillo helm fingers crossed i can get lucky well, my task is over and that is going to be 900 Kriara kills on the dot. Not a single drop that task, unfortunately, not even a God Sword shard. So we continue on. What it does mean is when I get my next task, I will be getting 99 Hunter from Black Chins, but that will be a level for another episode, I think. And to end the episode, can we get a pet from Jad? I don't think we got one just from him dying. So we will hand in the cape and see if we can get lucky. This would be a really nice way to end the episode. Well, unfortunately, not this time, but uh, yeah, we will keep going with these tasks. That is 13 jads down now. Um, the pet's not too rare, so yeah, we'll get it one day. And with that, that is gonna be the end of today's episode, guys. I hope you have enjoyed watching. I've really enjoyed trying out the new Darkmire content, particularly the Hallowed Sepulchre. As I mentioned, I probably will be going back for XP and going for the ring at some point in the future. They've actually just released the drop rates and it's a 1 in 200 chance of getting the ring from the uh, chest at the bottom floor. So that's not too bad. Um, otherwise, next episode going to be going back to Armadillo, hopefully. Uh, as I said, we'll be getting 99 Hunter as well, which would be pretty cool. And fingers crossed we can get the Armour Helm. If you enjoyed today's episode, feel free to drop a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all the latest videos in the series, make sure to hit subscribe. And uh, yeah, until next time, guys, take care.